What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create um, 360 panoramic renders to be used on Facebook or other uh, social platforms that support 360 video um, within Unreal Engine using the built-in uh, plugins. Well, not the built-in plugins, the plugins that you'll be uh, using are fairly official. You just have to enable them. So uh, yeah, we'll be enabling some plugins using Photoshop um, for one part. So if you don't have Photoshop, you may need to find an alternative when it comes to that part. But everything else is, um, everything's free except for Photoshop. So um, yeah, this is a great way to um, export your scenes in uh, full 3D. And this is for uh, photos, not videos. We can also do videos, which, but um, that's a different process. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we do, uh, I want to give a huge shout out to Todd M. Thank you so much for being a channel supporter. If you want to support this channel, click on that join button below to get access to shout outs in videos like this, or click on that thanks button to support me directly. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into Unreal Engine, and you're going to go into your settings and plugins folder. And you're going to search for panoramic capture. And this is the um, capture that we're going to need to enable to um, use within our scene to get the initial image before we can upload it to Facebook. So enable that. It's going to restart the engine. And then we need to um, import this uh, BP capture into our scene. And that's going to tell it to run the capture. Um, this isn't where the capture is going to occur. I thought it was, but it's actually wherever your um, pawn spawns. That's where the capture occurs, so make sure to adjust if necessary. Uh, you may also need to make your pawn invisible. Um, that way it doesn't show up um, clipping with the capture. But essentially, you want to find this, which is in the um, plugins assets. So uh, in order to see those, you need to go to view options and show plugin content. And then you can search for pano and it'll say panoramic capture content go into assets and then drag this bp capture into your scene i have mine right there um now you can adjust the settings if you're uh, a little bit more advanced than i am and i'm not willing to really go through these too much i'm learning about them because i want to raise the resolution but it's pretty high resolution right now so it's at 6144 um, but all these are parameters that can be adjusted um, based on your preferences. So you can adjust some of these to get um, higher quality, different resolutions and things like that. But um, you'll need to research what each one of those does. But yeah, so I'm using the base settings, so I haven't changed anything at all, right? Uh, you're going to want to run your game. And when you run your game, I'm not going to do it right now, because when you run your game, it's going to make uh, everything freeze. It takes a really long time to create these panoramic captures. It goes through a rendering process that um, honestly, on a pretty beefy machine, took me about two or three minutes to get through. So it's just paused on your screen. You're gonna think it's um, frozen. Just let it run. It's more than likely not frozen. Uh, usually when there's an error, it happens right away when you run it with the Pano plugin. So um, you'll know right away if it's not working. If it's frozen, that's a good thing. Once it's done, it'll create an asset into your C drive. So you're gonna go into your C drive. You're going to go to panoramic capture frames, and then you're going to go to the latest one. So for me, that's this one. Everything is in final color, and this is what the result looks like. It's a 61,300 or 6,133 by 6,133 file, but it's duplicated. Uh, we don't want it duplicated because that's not actually how it works for a Facebook. So we're going to open that in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and open this in Photoshop. I already had one running here, so I'm going to open another one. So let's open in Photoshop. All right, so we only need half of this to create a panoramic photo. So what we're actually going to do is go to Image, and then you're going to go to uh, canvas size and we're going to go to percent and set height to 50 and click on the top one so it's docked on top. Proceed. And now we have a perfectly cropped panel. Uh, we want to convert this to a 3D panoramic. So we're going to go to 3D and go to spherical panorama and go to new panorama layer from selected layers. If this isn't showing up, you just have to select the layer down here first and then go to 
new panorama for layer from selected layers. This will take a second, and you can test out what it's going to look like. It seems like it worked pretty well. I can look around the scene. And then to export, instead of going to File and Save or File Export, we actually need some metadata attached to the image. So we're going to go to 3D, Spherical Panorama, and Export. And you want to save it as a JPEG. Uh, so let's just go ahead and hit Save, hit Yes. And then once you drag that into Facebook, even if it's not on an iPhone or uh, Android phone, um, you're able to actually upload it in uh, Facebook on web browsers on your desktop, and it still shows up with the uh, full 360 panoramic features enabled. So this is a great way to um, upload your scenes and environments to Facebook to let other people see what they look like without getting that weird ghosting effect that you normally get on 3D images. Uh, let me know if this video helped you out. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try to help you out. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers, and you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99, and that's a great price!